part, we are going to create a PHP page and link it with our RDS database. So we left off here, we had Ubuntu up and running on Apache 2. Now I'm gonna go back to Video Studio Code to actually create this here. And let me click this on the bottom here. And <clears throat> you can see I'm back up here. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make a new directory right here. Make directory PHP project. I'm going to do this for my desktop terminal because I'm on an Apple, but you can do this whatever system you're on. You just want to create a directory. This will be where we're going to build everything from. So once you do that, let's go up here and open this up. Open folder. And PHP project. I'm going to open this up. And this is how we're going to start. I'm going to move forward by creating a new terminal used for the bottom here. This will be our use for a terminal window. Now we're going to open a new file. And I'm going to call this index. So if I could spell it, it'd be dangerous. Index.html. Hit create file. And one thing I like about this, you want to hit the exclamation point here and that'll go through and it will create your default setting for your HTML file. Create one more file. So let's just do file. Well, for some reason that didn't click on me. Let's try this again. File. And come on down here. New file. I'm going to call this one index.php and create file. So now this should get us going to have two base files. Now we're going to add our PHP code to be able to connect to our RDS database. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code and put this into my PHP index.php file to get things going. And I will save all these. Save all. To do here is I'm going to actually make a directory called includes. And see, we're here, it's going to be desktop PHP project, and we're going to use this to put all our include files in here. And that being said, let's go make our PHP script. I'm going to just add a very basic PHP. I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is just for this demo, I'm going to put all of our PHP script in the includes connection.2002.php. And we actually build our web page a little bit later. We can put some of our buttons and some of our menus in here in the main part. For right now, I just want to connect. We're going to actually create, go to the includes here. And in the includes, we are going to make a new file. New file. We're going to call that what? We're going to call that connection. Two thousand twenty-two dot php. That should be the includes. Make sure it gets in the right place. In the includes. And let's go ahead and save that. Create the file. Connection 2022. We're looking good. Cheat a little again. And I'm going to paste in this code. It's very standard. I'll put this on my um, Git repository if you want to grab this. But this is just something I've got from the documentation. And I think the one thing that got me when I was doing this was... Um, Make sure you put the weather obs with these these types of brackets here. Working bracket. That got me the first time I did this, but I have your password in there. I didn't use mine, so for obvious reasons. And all this is really doing is, it, is it's gonna it's gonna try to connect. My S oh, one other thing you gotta be careful about is if you have an old version of PHP. You want to make sure that you have MySQL 
I in here is what you really need to do. Otherwise, it won't work. So if you're, I think it's before 7.4 without the I, you're in trouble. So make sure that if you got the latest version, you got the I in there. That got me in trouble a little bit. Because um, the old version was just at my SQL. Here's your, okay, here's just some basic query stuff here. I don't want to get into PHP stuff. I used to do it all the time, but my, this is something you can always look up and get some examples online. So here we go, and then close the connection here. So this should basically connect to our database. And the information is what we had from before, it's just the database.com, you know, you see on top there with the admin, your password, metadata, and the port. So this is all standard information that we had in previous videos. If you don't remember, you can always go back and look. And this should be able to connect once we get this up on our web page. Do is from our terminal, I'm just gonna copy these up to the web page. Remember before we had to download that .pm PEM file. Well, this is how you're going to use this to S secure copy or SSH. We can also do this through GitHub, but for the sake of just simplicity, I'm just going to secure copy this up to the web page. And I've already actually sent these up there, so I'll do this here and it should go in a second. Now we'll be able to go up and see those files up there and we'll try to see if we can see our data we've got those files up on our EC2 instance, I'm going to go and log in. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can do this. Um, I could do it from the terminal SSH in using that PEM file that we downloaded before. Now, if you're on a Windows, you could use PuTTY. But this time, I'm just going to actually go back to the console and log in that way. So let me go over here, and I see we've got four running instances. Let me go ahead and click on this, and I'm just going to Sorry, that's a little bit funky here. I'm just going to connect. Came up, it took a few minutes there, which is a little bit surprising. But that being said, let's just make sure the files are there. Maybe it's in var slash www.html. Should be here. Yes, I see them here. And these are our files. It looks like we've got PHP. So um, that, let's just see what the timestamps are on these. And they're looking fairly new. So let me go ahead and see if we can actually call this page up. Let me put this in here. I've copied in the, uh... nope, that's not what I wanted actually. Let me just see if I can see it in here. What was my, hold on, the um, IP address of our instance. Let me go back up here. We should be able to see PHP. Okay, it looks like it's that's all the data we had in the database. So we did connect and it did display it. So that's a big first step in getting our web page up and off the ground. I just want to look one more thing here. Let me um, see if I can get this to be a little bit neater. I don't like that one line. Just make sure we're killing with reality here. VI. Let's just get rid of this. Save it. Let's go back up to here. Let's see if this looks a little bit cleaner. Yeah, okay. So that's looking good. And now we are connecting to our database and now we can start to make a web page based on that information.